Hi all, this is my uh, third Tommy Limited Vintage. Man, I'm just been in love with those things. Those are just so incredible. Um, and uh, this is the... Ooh, it's all in Japanese. Oh, right here, right here. Um, this is uh, LVN, so this is a uh, Limited Vintage Neo, number 178. So this is the first variation, Nissan Skyline 25GT-V. Um, this is one of the interesting things I've noticed with Tomica Limited Vintage, especially with their Skylines, they never tell you the model number. Uh, just the 25 GTV, and um, the thing is, you can you can easily tell because they have it down here, you see it's Nissan Skyline, excuse me, parentheses, R34, it's the R34, does the same thing happen with my last one, so you know, uh, whatever, I can't even remember what the name was, it was the R33, doesn't tell you on the on the box, but it just tells you on the base, which I'll assume there might be other variations. The R34, which they all you all share, so it uh, tells you it's like the generic R34 chassis without any of the other details. But like, what's the harm in just putting R34 on the box itself? Um, but that's very minor. I'm just more curious than anything else, and was Tommy Limited Vintage. Now, like every single time, there's not much to say, you know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this one was like 19 something, like 19.99 or something like that, plus like three, four dollars shipping. But I bought it with something else, so uh, it was a very, very nice deal. These things will go for in stores in Japan for like 20 for the equivalent of 23 U U.S. dollars. So I'd say it's more than worth it. Um, this is a four-door sedan version of the R34, which is still very cool. Um, I like the uh, R34 GTR that uh, Western audience are going to be more familiar with, but this one is very, very, very cool as well. Uh, you can see the head-on, great stuff, uh, plastic inserts for headlights. Got the uh, empty, um, blanked out license plate. I, I don't know what to feel about this, I don't really care. Um, would it have been nicer without the license plate? Um, maybe, I don't know, but I would assume for customizers and people who want to put things in dioramas, this is going to be very nice. Uh, you could easily um, either like print in your own license plate, or I'm sure there are online sellers that sell um, license plates for those TLV models. And on the side, you can see uh, it's a bit of a paint uh, here and here, very nice. And you can see all of the very, very sharp details from the lines between the doors as well as the uh, door handle. And this one actually has. Um, rear view mirrors pre-installed which is really nice as long as you don't drop it but I don't really want to remind myself of that particular tobacco uh, back here you can see the um, Nissan logo up, up here it's skyline very sweet uh, the back lights are also plastic inserts as well I'm pretty sure yes uh, it doesn't really show under the particular um, lighting circumstances which you can easily tell those are red not black and they're also plastic insert pieces uh, again another blank license plate back here oh i want to take a look at the rims you can see the um, realistic accurate wheels and notice the uh, brake calibers inside and notice how it's not moving despite the wheels are this is the nicest brake calibers i've ever seen green light does them and tarmac works does them but no none of them are really that great I just question why they are there anyway if they're, they don't work that well um this works perfectly you can see it's not turning uh, but the wheels are turning just fine you know um, like Tomica Limited Vintage it's like it's like fucking wizardry or something like an insane blend of incredible accuracy as well as incredible playability uh, you're not gonna get uh, this kind of incredible rolling from any other company except for Hot Wheels but obviously Hot Wheels the way they do it is very very different independent rolling wheels are just going to be easier to accomplish that instead of what Tomica Limited Vintage does you know it's like if it's fixed wheels like both wheels are fixed to the axle so they're like perfectly parallel to each other and perfectly perpendicular to the axle which is just incredible down here you see a bit of the uh, exhaust details which is really nice yeah it's just like Tomica Limited Vintage has got to be some kind of witchcraft involved because I don't get it, and especially the way, whoopsie, they you, they do their suspension so well, just, I don't get it. I want to, I genuinely looked up, like, for, like, videos or images of, like, the interiors of Tomica Limited Vintage. I don't think anyone's ever taken them apart, uh, because, uh, you see, these are actually riveted. They're not, um, uh, they're not screwed in, so it's going to be very hard to take them out if you take them out. Uh, I don't know um, if you're actually going to put them back or not. See, it seems that no one has ever tried it, and I don't blame them, because 
holy shit, these things are amazing and those things are expensive, so why would you want to do that? Uh, but you can see there's like a little bit of extra painting uh, up here, just really nice. And the interior is really nice too. The right hand drive, all the detail, dashboards, steering wheels, everything that should be there is there. Uh, and one last thing, you probably just saw it on the box already. It says uh, you want to install the back spoiler yourself, which is uh, something that bothers me a little. Although, um, I mean, it's like so very minor because those things, like I said, is witchcraft. It's so amazing, it's witchcraft. But you want to um, cut the uh, spoiler from the sprue and actually uh, glue it in yourself. Like, I don't, I don't quite get why Tomic Limited or Vintage wouldn't do that, and the same goes for a lot of the uh, side mirrors as well, like, obviously they can do the side mirrors, and, um, with some of the other models, give me one second. Oh, this is gonna be actually be kind of funny, I'm gonna want to make sure not to damage anything, um, with, in this case, you can see that they can easily, um, glue on the, um, back spoilers and you can easily tell it's a separate piece because it kind of it's not the most stable thing I don't want to fundle with it too much because you can it might just break off and in this case this uh, Mazda RX-7 which is oh just gorgeous doesn't have a uh, rear view mirrors because the rear view mirrors the side mirrors you have to ex uh, install that in yourself but in this case the back spoiler is inserted uh, it's already uh, done for you well in this case the uh, mirrors are done for you but you have to add in the uh, spoiler yourself but I don't really mind I mean would have been amazing if Tomica Limited Vintage had done that for me, sure. Uh, am I gonna glue it in your, myself? No, because I will probably um, screw up royally and damage something. Uh, but but I, it doesn't really matter, you know. You, you can't see like holes or anything like that indicating where these things sit, which is nice if you don't want to install it. If you want to install it, I feel like it's gonna be a nightmare because how would you make sure where it's supposed to go? But overall, man, zero complaints. It's, it's Tomica Limited Vintage. It's it's great it's perfect um and uh just gonna be a comparison this is the green light this is the uh, two-door gtr r34 that uh western audience are gonna be more familiar with obviously if you put green light next to atomic limited adventures the green light is not gonna be um it's it's i mean it's unfair right to green light because this is a like i said a 23 dollar model this is a what five six dollar model. Obviously, the green light is not going to be as nice as the um, TLB, but it doesn't it doesn't look bad. One thing it definitely does look bad is something I didn't notice. Is just look at the chin, and how awful the paint is. This is dreadful, and I don't know why I didn't notice it earlier. But for most angles, if you look at them like side by side, it doesn't look bad. But you can see like the different proportions of uh, like different styling, the difference between like a two door um, GTR and the four door. This is a steady sedan or GTR. This is a GTV, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure about the differences. And uh, the Tomica Limited Vintage stance is a bit lower, which, um, again, is it just because of the uh, different variation, different styling, or is it because Tomica Limited Vintage is more accurate? I'm not really quite sure about that. Um, but yeah, you can see the um, the rims uh, on the... Um, and the green light is also pretty well done. This is a five spoke while the uh, TLV is six spoke. And you can see it does have the brake calipers but it actually just turns with it. And this is just fine. Like I don't really care that much about brake calipers. Uh, but it does look pretty nice. Uh, again, not even close of being the same round, but the green light doesn't look bad either. So I'm just gonna have another side by side comparison while the whole thing is focused. Yeah, not bad, but again, this is unacceptable. And finally, one more TLV comparison. R33, you don't want to say too much about them, considering getting a new one, but I don't think I am, just something I've considered. R33 versus, well, not versus, R33 next to the R34. Pair of great looking skylines, great models, and great toys from Tomic Limited Vintage. Uh, you know, they're just companies that make things that are toys, like Hot Wheels Premium. They are really nice, but they are pretty much just like, uh, nice toys that have a lot of um, playability, don't have a lot of accuracy. Uh, while there are other brands say, like Kyosho, oh, uh, like Kyosho or Tarmac Works or Inno 64, great models, uh, don't have any playability, that's not what they're designed for. Tamika Limited Vintage, like, they got the best of both worlds, right? You got accuracy, you're not gonna beat this, you got. Uh, 
uh, you got playability, so you wanna, I mean, why would you even wanna race them? I mean, you can, but, ugh. Uh, I don't know, maybe if you live in literally, like, a silver tower, or a gold tower of gold, or ivory tower, or whatever you wanna call it, maybe you can, but, Jesus. Uh, if you want to play them, you can. If you want to display them in like a nice uh, carning case, you can do that. If you just want to um, have a diorama, just have cars rolling in your like Japanese city, you can do that. Just literally, you can do anything you want with them, which is pretty insane. Which is just say why they're just witchcraft. Um, that's it. I've rambled for way too long. Oh, I do want an R32 though. I don't know why I'm gonna get it. Maybe mini GT. And I'll pray to God and sacrifice a baby or something to hope to hope that I can get a good quality version from them. Maybe Inno 64 or some other company will provide provide one. I mean, I might just get a Hot Wheels one, but that doesn't really count in my opinion. Or like a accurate 164 model of it. Maybe Greenlight has it. I don't think so. But anyway, I've been I've been babbling for too long already. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll talk to you again. With uh, next time will be an era car that I got, which is pretty sweet. Uh, that's it. Bye bye. Talked for way too long already.